Algebra 1, 8.1a, we're going to talk about solving systems of equations in this chapter, chapter 8, and this is identifying solutions. A system of equations is a set of equations that have the same solution. We can graph each equation separately on the same coordinate plane, and where their two lines cross each other is the common solution they share. It's where the graphs intersect is the common solution and a solution of a system of two equations with two variables is an ordered pair that makes both equations true. And because this makes both equations true, we have a system of simultaneous equations. When we find all the solutions of the system, we've solved the system. So we need an ordered pair that solves two equations, is what it's saying. And we write the solution for a system of two equations in two variables as an ordered pair, x and y, or a and b, whatever it is. And a system of equations can have many solutions. We can figure out if 1 for x and 2 for y is a solution for this system. We've got y equals x plus 1 and 2x plus y equals 4. So we draw a line underneath them to make a table, and we draw a line coming down, see? Our vertical line is under the equal sign. So we draw a line underneath it, and then we draw a line underneath the equal sign. And we plug in our values for x and y, 1 and 2. So y is a 2, so we put a 2 here. x is a 1, so we put a 1 here. And then we do the plus 1, and we get 2 equals 2. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? 2 equals 2. And on this side, we plug in 1 for the x and 2 for the y, and we get 2 times 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4. Yeah, 4 equals 4. So, yes, this ordered pair of 1, 2 is a solution for this system. See? We can figure out if negative 3 and 2 as a and b is a solution for this system of equations. So we've got a plus b equals negative 1, and b plus 3a equals 4. We draw a line underneath them. We draw a vertical line coming down from the equal sign for each side, and we plug in negative 3 for a and 2 for b. And on this one, we get negative 3 plus 2 equals negative 1. Well, yeah, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 is negative 1, okay? On this side, we plug in the negative 3, 2 as a and b, and b is 2, so we've got 2 plus 3 times a negative 3. Well, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, and 2 plus negative 9 is a negative 7. That's not equal to 4. So it's not a solution for the system. The 1, negative 1 equals negative 1 is true, but this negative 7 does not equal 4. That's false. So all we have to do is just plug in the value of the ordered pairs into the equations. And if they make both equations true, then it's a solution. And this is how we determine if an ordered pair is the solution to a system of equations. That's not that hard, is it? Just plug them in. Now our next video, 8.1b, is also going to be about systems of equations, and it's going to be solutions by graphing. So we're going to actually graph them on a coordinate plane. And if you want to go back and learn about the proof of slope m, or point-slope equations, or slope-intercept equations, or parallel lines and perpendicular lines that are graphed, then you can go into this description let me get it out of the shadow. You can go into this description, and there'll be links to these helpful videos. Okay? So you can just click on them. All right? So now you know how to identify the solutions to a system of equations. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.